What's up guys? I'm Raptor Tech here. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna look at my new sorted finally uh, dinosaur shell. And also we've got something really cool in this box. Can't wait to show you guys. I'm really excited. You definitely want to wait till the end of this video because I have made I think my best custom ever and it took me at least seven hours of about four days just to make that like seriously guys i really want to share this with you so please please make sure to watch till the end of this video i've also got a few other customs too that i would like to show you in another video which i don't have right now but i will show you in another video so let's get started with looking at my new dinosaur self so if you didn't know guys which you probably didn't because i've never shown well, I'm not showing you this uh, dinosaur shell to you as much, <clears throat> but I actually had this not very nice at all. It was all dinosaurs everywhere and not organized. It was a mess, guys. It was a very big mess. So... Yeah, so I yesterday I sorted through all of this, made sure that it was all nice, and I finally got it all cleaned up, and it looks really good now. So, up close, we've got some pterosaurs up there. We've got the original Jurassic Park Velociraptor stuffed animal. We've got Alpha Training Blue back there. We've got Training and Beyond toy right there, which is Tr Mermaid Trinity. Uh, all of the Dinosaur Village characters. Oh, and speaking of Dinosaur Village, uh, I hope you guys don't get mad that I've not been putting out Dinosaur Village. It has just been... It, it's been very nice out. Like, um, yeah, for uh, November here, this is a really good weather here. Usually, by October, it's actually freezing like seriously kind of sometimes even below freezing but by halloween i've n i don't know if i've ever been in halloween that is not freezing cold but this halloween was very nice december is going to be well i mean november is really nice but i've heard that it's going to get colder but that's why i've been that's why i've been enjoying the nice weather while it lasts i do want to make dinosaur village but i'm also working on dinosaur village the movie 2 which is coming out in december this december which i'm really excited to come out i can't wait so you can actually watch the trailer to dinosaur village the movie 2 uh, i'll put it down in the description down below uh, for you guys to go watch that. Uh, the release date will be down below in the trailer's description. I, I might change it if it gets uh, pushed back or if it comes sooner. Whatever. I don't know when it's going to come out. But I'm just guessing that it's going to come out in December. Which is probably the most accurate because it is based in a Arctic land. So <laughs> Arctic land. I, I can't talk. Uh, so it's gonna have to snow. So we're gonna have to wait for the snow. Yep. So you're not gonna get it until the snow comes. So under here, um, we've got here, all around. So let's, let's get started with un showing you, not unboxing yet, but showing you my favorite part of this whole video. Showing you this! So let's get this out of the package. Let's get this out. Yay! Okay, so first look. Yep, bunch of bags. Okay, we're done. No, let's get this bag out. This bag out. And we have... That's all you get to see. No, I'm going to get it out. Even better. Oh, this is so cool. Be really careful because it is made out of modern clay and it is pretty much dry, but I just want to make sure that I'm being really careful with this. This is the, I'm going to get my Dinosaurs the Grand Tour book so I can find what that's called because it is very hard to 
for me to pronounce. See if I can find it. Uh, I know what they calls to get there. Anaphosaurus. Horseshoe crab. Um, here we are. This is what it is. This is the this one right here. This is the un in we ia we ia wingia uliangia. What? So that is. I love this picture. So whoever drew this picture, it looks so good. That is really really good. So it was eleven feet long, or. 3.5 meters long so it was not the biggest dinosaur but it was bigger than a velociraptor um it doesn't say what its name means but there's two species discovered um i think it was found in argentina i think yep yeah, argentina in the cretaceous and it was carnivorous it weighed uh, 75 kilograms or 165 uh, pounds so it was kind of heavy <laughs> but it's 11 feet long so that's kind of good but I love this book it's really good so it lived about 94 to 86 million years ago. So let's put the book away and show you this really cool custom and I'm really, really excited to show you guys because this is amazing looking. This is super cool. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna tell you how you can make your own. You're gonna have to have some pretty good um, sculpting practice and things, but it's not it's not too bad. You're just gonna have to work with falling it apart because like seriously, after working hours and hours on this, it made me feel really, really bad when it just kept falling apart. So you're gonna have to deal with that probably. So here it is. It's really, really nice looking. I think that Definitely someone else could do a way better job than me, but for me, this is really, really good looking. And the jaws open. You know, inside the mouth isn't the best, but I'm going to be finishing this up. It did have arms, but they fell off. But it does move. So, I'll be finishing this up today. Its neck has a rotating joint here, and the head moves up and down. I'm going to put a full review on this. Uh, hopefully later today. It could be tomorrow. And the tail rotates around. But it's a really nice looking uh, toy. So also the legs rotate out a little bit. And they also move. And they can also pop off, and the same with the tail, the head, the neck, and the arm. So you've got these pieces, and then you can put them back together. Like, you can't, I, well, I wish I could sell these so that more of you guys can get these, but... Like, like I said, they're really hard to get, and it'd be super cool if I could sell these. But I don't know if they're selling quality. And I've only made one. So let's put this back together. So, I'm going to tell you how you can make your own. So, I made this out of a dragon I got from Target. It's some... I got it before I got a YouTube channel. I never reviewed it, though, before I made it into this. Oh, because it was the last, all the pieces were everywhere, but I don't remember what it came from. It was just some dragon toy that I thought would be cool to have because it looked really nice. I think it said on the box, it said, like, 
uh, it came in an egg, like an egg thing. It was really easy to get out, but it had a bunch of little pieces that you had to uh, assemble. But it it was really nice. It got these really nice rubbery wings. The legs were all like that, but not covered in clay. It had a little tiny smushed up face. Looked like a little dragon. And inside its mouth, um, it had like a little fire piece that you could put in there. It's The connector is still in there somewhere. It's like really back there because I've made the nose bigger, but uh, it had like really big, like really rubbery wings. I've got them somewhere, but it came in all pieces. Its tail was a lot shorter than this. Uh, but it had all different pieces. If you guys know what I'm talking about, great. But I don't know what it was called. I just got it because my uh, cousin got it. And I thought it was, looked really cool. He got one, the same one that I got. But I thought it looked cool. And I got it just because I thought I was kind of into dragons then. So I got it and I played with it. Posed it in cool different poses and... Uh, I'm not 16 plus, but I don't know what that what's that to do with it. Maybe it's the movie that or show that it was from. I think it was from a movie or show or something, but I don't know what it is because I've never even heard of it, or I don't even remember what it is. Uh, if you guys know what it is, great, uh, but I really don't know what it is. I don't really care. All I just wanted was the toy. So uh, then you're going to need some clay. Which I've got some Crayola air dry clay here. Which you can get at Walmart. Some Walmart. I don't know if my Walmart has it. My mom got this somewhere else. But um also you're gonna need some paint. I use apple barrel paint. It's really nice quality paint uh for some things, especially for painting dinosaurs. You can add that a little bit of water, just a little bit to wetten it up, but I don't usually do that, but I do do it sometimes when I'm especially doing like a really, like, just for the body paint. Ugh. And then you're going to need some, like, some kind of clear coat because this does wear off, especially on this clay stuff. Um, so what I used was actually just an experiment for something. It was using nail polish clear coat and it worked really, really well. It's really good to put on like, especially on the feet and the like scales and the eyes and inside the mouth. But I do put it on all of it because it just gives it this nice glossy color. Not color, but a nice shine. And, um, also, it just protects the um, figure. So, that's pretty much all for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, if you did, give a huge thumbs up. Click that subscribe button down below. See you in the next video. Bye!